Today we're going to be rating skincare that I've received as PR on the spot based on the formula and whether or not I'd use them. We've got guest appearances from Rode, Ultraviolet, Caudalie, Pharmacy, Isentree and Dermatica. First up we have the Isentree. This is almost empty but unfortunately not for the reason you think. Yes that is correct, I use it every day but I use it on my neck and my chest because I really love the texture. I did however use it on my forehead, it gave me closed comedones which is a little bit annoying. I do know that this is a lot of people's holy grails and I can definitely see why. It doesn't have any essential oils or fragrance. The ingredients list is very nice. At some point in the future I may be tempted to use it on my face so if you're not super sensitive or acne prone I reckon this would be fantastic for you. I've recommended it to my brother. If you are clog prone then definitely patch test this. Next up we're looking at the Rode Peptide Glazing Mill. I did actually already review this on TikTok before and everyone had a go at me for saying Baldwin rather than Bieber. It just came out. Someone sent me a voice note talking about Hayley Baldwin. It just came out of my mouth. My brain remembered it and I repeated it. I really like the Rode skincare range. It's one of the best celebrity skincare ranges available in my opinion. I think this is a sleigh. Um, I did mention in one of my previous videos that it does contain coconut alkanes, which will be fine for the majority of people, but some people are sensitive to coconut derived ingredients. So that's something to watch out for. If your skin doesn't like that, might be an indicator that you don't like coconut alkanes, but probably also don't read into it too much because you can't really like single out ingredients in the way that you wish you could. I wish I could do that. You can't really do that. I wrote a blog on it. It's in my bio. Overall, I'm actually really tempted to use this and it's in my like trial list, but I've just got a few other products in the queue first. I think this is a sleigh. I think she did a good job. I really like her range in general. Doesn't mean I'd use all the products, but I like her range in general. Next up, we have the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. If you know me, you can probably guess what I think of this. This is not a sleigh for me. This has so many essential oils in it. I just, I couldn't bear. My skin would just pass away. It would simply pass away. If you have sensitive skin, you want to avoid stuff with essential oils in it. I don't really care what anyone else says. That is my hard and fast opinion. If you have sensitive skin, it just ain't for you. Even if you're fine with it now, you can get sensitive to it over time. That's why allergens become allergens for some people later in life. I'm talking about my dad. My dad had a cat for like 20 years after 20 years he becomes allergic to cats that's common it happens with skincare too it's happened with me i'm not being a bitch it just happens and i'm trying to save your skin next up we have the dermatica caring squalene cleanser this is a big sleigh for me like if you're acne prone and you're scared of oil cleansing gravitate towards squalene cleansers because they're slightly less likely to break you out everyone's different but i feel like you will have success with this or the ordinary squalene cleanser squalene is a skin identical ingredient sometimes that helps us out when it comes to what our skin likes and doesn't like it's a really simple cleanser it's really fucking big i love it when people actually give you your money's worth I recommend to use this as a first cleanse in the evening after you're wearing makeup or spf and lastly, we've got these two SPFs. We've got the one from Caudalie and the new one from Ultraviolet. This one, I'm cheating a little bit because I did actually buy it myself. I really like the minimal ingredients list. I like that for once, Caudalie's made something without fragrance and essential oils. And I think if you like a glowy base, uh, say you're going to a wedding and you want to apply makeup on top, this is a really nice SPF. However, it is fucking tiny and it's going to run out super quickly. So that's very annoying. And it does pill a little bit, but not too much. So like, Considering most SPFs pill a lot, I feel like this is good. Give it a go. Next up, we have a semi slay. This is the new Fave Fluid Ultralight Skin Screen from Ultraviolet. I do actually really like Ultraviolet in general. They are really expensive and quite hard to get in the UK, which there's always like some kind of drawback with SPF, I swear. This is super, like, maybe I should just show you. Super liquidy. Can you see that? It's literally like water. The thing I don't like about it is that it's got a really high alcohol content fucking stinks of alcohol and I don't like that. It makes my eyes water and it's also just, I think over time if you use alcohol sunscreens, I think it can cause like irritation and redness, at least if you have sensitive skin like me. That's why I'm giving this one a semi slay. It's not me, it's not for me. Like I'm not gonna make this my everyday sunscreen, but if I go on holiday and I want something super light, or if I'm not using it basically for an extended period of time, then I would consider using this. It's just not gonna be my everyday sunscreen.